Hello everyone, this video will show you how to use Skype. So most people have heard of Skype or maybe have even used Skype. However, not too many people have used Skype for educational purposes. Skype is a chat slash webcam service uh, that is totally free to download. Uh, it allows you to connect to people in real time. Um, this can be very important if you're teaching both a synchronized or an asynchronous uh, classroom. If you have students who are hours away or even just down down the street, uh, they're able to use Skype. Skype can be used as a way of connecting uh, during a brainstorming session in class or perhaps uh, just demonstrating mastery when you call on st uh, students. They can use uh, Skype to answer some questions, uh, just as uh, our book states. So. Um, this is the very first screen that you get to when you uh, look for Skype on the internet. Um, and there's a lovely download button that I, I had hit uh, previously. So once you hit that, um, that download button, it will actually go and be downloaded into your download folder. And then after that, you'll get this lovely box that pops up, just like the instructions here say. Uh, to simply put Skype into your Applications folder, and once it's in your Applications folder, you're able to click on Skype. So, like I said uh, previously, Skype is free. Uh, now, depending upon exactly what, how you use Skype, it can cost you money if you're making some direct phone calls, um, but for the most part, Skype is uh, free. So, I just created a brand new uh, Skype account because I uh, actually never really used Skype before uh, myself. I used it uh, once or twice in college, and that was about it. So um, I've created uh, two accounts. One uh, is the student, Trevor, and uh, the one I'm currently on is just uh, Trevor. So what you're able to do is you're able to, this right here is your home. Sometimes, uh, depending upon how many messages you have, if people are trying to contact you, uh, different notifications will pop up uh, on this home screen. But if not, um, if you're brand new to Skype, you will need to go to contacts and you will actually uh, need to find friends. So if you are a teacher trying to add some students, all you need to do is uh, find the students, whether it's using their Skype name, their email, or their actual phone number. Um, now, if I just try to type in uh, my name, now I've made uh, some mo different accounts. So I have an account right here. Uh, there's clearly a whole bunch of different Trevors out there that are not me. So it's uh, kind of important if you're trying to find students that you try to be as specific as possible. I found um, using the email is probably the easiest way of contacting uh, the person. So once you, you've hit that, that button, uh, a little box will appear on that, that, that person, and um, they'll have to hit accept for you to, uh, to call them. So how about uh, right here, we'll go to uh, Student Trevor. Uh, student Trevor says that he is uh, currently online. That's what the little green check is for. Um, so Student Trevor is actually there. I've had a conversation with him uh, not too long ago, just kind of playing around with, with the account itself. And there's tons of stuff that you can do. Uh, you're able to use this just um, like a chat window where I can be like, I can send that, and then obviously the other person can reply. All right, so this is actually uh, pretty much instantly. Uh, I have both computers uh, right next to each other, and I'm able to message myself. Um, very very quickly. So there are other ways of doing this. Um, you can send photos, uh, files to your friends. Uh, the most common one on Skype is actually being able to send video files. So this obviously is where I'm at right now. Um, 
says that I'm looking good. If I want to make the phone call, I can actually just hit the record button and I can actually send a, a three minute video to that person. Or what I'm also able to do, if I get out of that, well, I, can, I can send that video over his way. And he's able to get that. But another way of doing it, if I go up here and I click this button up here, I can actually send him a video uh, thing. And he can hit accept on his end. And that student is able to have some uh, actual see how long it takes. And now you're able to actually see both the student and uh, the teacher or student to student. And this conversation can uh, be pretty much as long as you want. So let me, uh, I will try to uh, turn that audio off. Hopefully you can still hear me just so that echo doesn't happen. So that is one way you're able to uh, mute your mic. Also, if you have some students who are unable to uh, show their face in class, you can also turn off the video. So now on that end, if I turn it off on the other end, you'll see that there is no video link. So I'm going to end that, that conversation right there. So this is... Um, Skype's pretty cool. Uh, you can use this for a lot of different reasons. Um, so actually in my classroom, I uh, have a, a lesson where I'm actually supposed to have students uh, partner up with another school that is teaching the same uh, Project Lead the Way course that I am. And that doesn't have to be necessarily the next school over. Um, it could also it could be a, a class that is in a different state, and they're supposed to use different forms of communication to um, finish a CAD project. So basically, um, what I plan on doing, uh, I want to try it out this year, is have a group of two of my students uh, partner up with a group of uh, two students down in Washington D.C. and uh, hopefully, judging by uh, the time of those classes. Have them get on to Skype, contact two other people that are in Washington, and see if they can complete a, uh, a CAD drawing um, in the Inventor software that I have on in school, and uh, just see how how the whole situation goes. So, uh, the options for this are completely endless. Um, it's it's such a great tool just to be able to. Uh, get in contact, uh, have, have students contact each other. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, uh, please contact me. Um, there's tons and tons of stuff that uh, you can do within Skype. You can send uh, all the way to like emojis. Um, all the way to um, just having little pictures and GIFs. So there's tons and tons of stuff that this software can have. Uh, you can also have multiple people contact each other. So it's it's really full of different, uh, really cool, cool ways to contact each other. So thanks for uh, watching the video. If you have any questions, like I said, uh, please contact me. Um, so thanks. Thanks for watching.